Here we go. Good workout today. Excellent workout. It's gonna be, you're gonna like it. So, uh, let's start with our warm up. We're gonna do alternating hops. So, just pick how many times you wanna hop, and then just go to the other side. <clears throat> right now, we're just working on range of motion, making sure that our heel hits the ground, that our knee is flexing, our ankle flexing, and our hip. So, start working that hip. Good. Keep going. That's it. Keep working the hip. Okay. That's one minute. Now we're gonna go down on the ground in a supine plank. Um, well, I call it a supine plank. So our arms are straight up, a little bit extended in the shoulder, retraction of the scapula, and depress your lower back into the ground, lower your legs to the position that you can control. All right, and knees are straight, Making sure we're recruiting the quads and the thigh. Keep those knees super straight. Lock those knees out. Very good. 30 more seconds. Keep focusing on your energy into the uh, abdominal region, trying to push your lower back into the floor. Keep those knees straight, good. 10 seconds. Bring it up. Uh, double under hops. So as if you were doing double unders, you just hop a little higher. Okay? It's like a high jump rope. You can play around with this if you want to go lateral or rotate, but just make sure you're doing a little bit higher than your typical jump rope. And again, we're working flexion in the knee, the ankle, and the hip. Don't forget about the hip. Get that hip pumping. Good. All right. Back down on the ground in our supine plank position. <clears throat> so we're in the same position. Arms are slightly extended, shoulder blades are retracted. We're putting our energy into our abdominals to push the lower back into the floor. And now you flutter kick. Keeping those knees straight. Make sure those knees stay straight. They're short little kicks. They're short, quick kicks. Come on, focus on those knees, keep them straight. We need our rec fem and our hip flexors to fall. Nice work, almost there. Alright, bring it up. Hops or jumps. So you can do little hops or you can do jumps. Or you can swing your arms this way. Go ahead. And you can add a lateral aspect, which would be nice. So you can either laterally jump or laterally hop. Either way, focus on extension, full extent, triple extension, ankles, knees, hips, triple flexion when you land, ankles, knees, hips. On the ground. We're going to do 
penguins. Your feet can be on the floor or your feet can be elevated. Your arms are in an M position. M position on the floor and then laterally crunch. Left and right like a penguin walking. Try not to reach with your shoulders. We're reaching with our rib cage. Rib cage to the left, rib cage to the right. Depress that lower back into the floor. Slightly elevated body. Come on, keep working it. Warm up those muscles. 10 seconds. Whoo! All right. Warm up. All right, here we go with mobility. Mobility is going to be about the wrist and the ankle today because you're going to need that. Um, so the first thing I want you to do is just walk, intertwine your fingers. Yep. And then, and then with the fingers intertwined, we're going to flex one wrist, extend the opposite wrist, and then go right to the other side. Okay? Now what I want you to do is once you get that pattern down, I want you to kind of move with the rhythm. Flow right through it. We're not trying to overstretch the muscle. We're just trying to create a little flow into those joints. Good. Okay, next one is keep the fingers interlaced, push your thumbs together. Okay, you're forming a little triangle here. Keep that, and then what you're gonna do, I'll show you, uh, I'll kind of bend over so I can show you. You're going to push your elbow straight, or as straight as you can, and then back to your chest. Okay, and again, we're looking for more of a rhythm and flow. Do not turn your hands out. Keep your palms facing the ground. Yeah, there we go. You don't have to bend over. I was just showing you guys, so give you a good angle. Yes. Good. Now, when you're pushing those arms up, be mindful of the shoulders. We're not taking our shoulders with us. We're not doing that. We're doing an inverse movement function. As the hands, as the elbows straighten, the shoulder blades have to contract and work against you, or work against the elbows, I should say. Good. All right, that was very good. Now, let's take it to the ground. We're gonna go hands, regular position with the hands. Just put them on the floor. Yep, keep your knees on the floor. We're gonna, roll, we're gonna revolve our shoulders around our wrists, okay? I'm revolving around the wrist. I'll show you this angle. See what I'm doing here? Just revolving around the wrist. Yes. Keep those arms straight. Keep your shoulders externally rotated. In other words, your elbows are pointed towards your knees. All right, let's go the other direction. Revolving our shoulders around our wrist or some sort of orbit here. Keep those elbows straight, keep the shoulders externally rotated. You should feel your triceps working. All right, next move. You're gonna take your, carefully, you're gonna take your palm or your hands, you're gonna push the back side of the hands on the floor, okay? Your elbows, let your elbows bend at this point. Try to get the wrist knuckle or the, the wrist bone onto the floor. You can bend your elbows. And now, all we're simply gonna do is try to straighten the elbows, externally rotate the shoulder, and then just bend. Straighten and externally rotate, and bend. 
Good. So when we bend, we go a little bit of internal rotation of the shoulder. When we extend, we go into external rotation of the shoulder. There you go. Nice. Okay. Just shake it off. Just shake those wrists off, right? Just, yeah. Just whip them around, get some blood flow all the way down to the fingertips. Nice. Now, little tidbit, little tip here. If at any point during any workout, but specifically today you might need it, if at any point your wrists are uncomfortable from being in this kind of plank push-up position, you just simply do this for a couple seconds. You'll see that that gives enough relief to keep you going. Um, I don't anticipate we're going to do any exercise that's not good for your wrists. I just want to preface with that. I'm just saying that sometimes from doing push-ups and fatiguing planks, we just need to do a little bit of this to give ourselves a little break. All right. Okay, so our strength. Our strength is kind of like, uh, like one of our metabolic workouts today. We're going to be doing a complex, meaning we're taking one exercise and we're kind of combining three into one. Um, and, these, and we're going to be doing two exercises, three sets. Okay, now I have this ball because I'm going to show you how stable we need to be for the first complex. The first complex is a push-up. Shoulder taps, hip extension. That's one. That's one movement. That's one exercise. It's push up, shoulder tap, hip extension. That's one movement. Now, the key to this exercise is stability of the trunk. You can bend your knees a little bit if you need to. So I'm going to put this ball on my back. I'm going to do my push up. Shoulder tap, hip extension, okay? The ball stays on my back. That's because I'm very stable. And that's what you're going for, okay? That's the first exercise. I'm gonna be doing five of those. Then we follow that with a sit up to stand. That's one movement. We're gonna sit up and you can Lunge up, so like I just did, I'll show you from this angle. I just sat up and I drew my foot under me, got into a lunge position and stood up. The other option, which is actually a little easier, is to bring your hips off the ground and stand up. Off the ground, whip yourself up and stand up, okay? Easy breezy. That's one movement. That's one, just, you just do one of those. You either do the sit up and lunge up, or you do the sit up and squat up. It's one, either one. All right? So we're gonna do three sets, five reps of each. You're not rushing, it's not a race, uh, but we're gonna, we can do it together, you can do it on your own. But anyway, let's get started. And, Three, two, one. Let's do our first exercise. It's a push up, shoulder tap, and then hip extension on each side. And then repeat push up, shoulder tap left, shoulder tap right, extension right, extension left, push up. Okay? Nice and stable. Keep those backs and torsos stable. Or hips, I should say. Hips and torso stable. Stand. Again, if you want to kind of whip yourself up and back down. I'll show you this last one. There's another way of doing this where you kind of cross your feet. So you cross your feet and then you stand up. All right, let's do it again. Second set. 
You can bend your knees. Again, bend your knees. If you can't stabilize your hips or your torso, bend your knees a little bit. Let it help you out. Put your quads help you out. Extend, extend. Push up through the chest. Shoulder tap, tricep is holding you up. Extensions with the glute. Don't think about lifting your foot. Think about squeezing the glute. Squeeze the glute, squeeze the glute. Tricep, tricep, glute, glute, chest. Tricep, tricep, glute, glute, chest. And they got one more all the time using your anterior oblique, oblique subsystem that connects the lower body to the upper body. Those obliques, abs, lats. hips level, no rotation of the hips. Now we can finish our last round. Up, sit up, stand up. I guess I'll demonstrate the different ways we can just sit up and go into kind of like a lunge on the way up, lunge on the way down, or you can cross the feet and stand up, or like I was doing, come right up into a squat. All right. Okay, so four rounds. We're going to be using that spiral dynamic mobility that we did, uh, that we typically do uh, before we work out. So the first one, reverse lunge. So your regular reverse lunge, except we're adding an M. So we're going to start in a standing position, internally rotated and flexed in our arms and then we're going to M internally rotate push the arms back retract so I'm sorry this is external rotate so let's start over we're going to start with standing up externally rotated in the shoulders flexed at the shoulder and then we're extending the shoulder internally rotated okay I'll show you side view like this so that's our first round of lunges we do 15 on the right, and then we do 15 on the left. Follow that up with beast crawl. So the beast, the beast is hands and knees, but your knees are slightly elevated. So there's only about a half an inch of space underneath your knee. Do not get those knees up in the air. Keep the knees underneath your hips as well. And then we're going to move like a beast. We're going to lift opposite limbs, right hand, left foot and I move it up together. I lift left hand, right foot, move together, and move together. I go three forward, and then I go three in reverse. Three forward, three in reverse. One, two, three, nice and stable backs. No hip rotation. Keep those arms pushing into the floor. Pushing into the floor. All right. All right, now reverse lunge T. So we're going to bring the arms just right in front of your body, like a, I dream a genie, right? And then we reverse lunge into a T. Rotate the shoulder. Palms should probably be facing up 
Your shoulders are externally rotated, and then we come forward, internal rotation. External, internal, external, internal, okay? That's our T reverse launch. And then we go back again. One, two, three is one rep. One, two, three is two. One, two, three is four. One, two, three is five, okay? 15 of those. Then, reverse lunge V. So we start, I'm sorry, we start reaching for our hips down low, internal rotation and flexion, external rotation extension up high. We're in a V position, like an overhead squat. Stand up, internal, external, flexion, extension, okay? Then we go back to the beast crawl. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two, okay? Keeping those torsos nice and stable. Then the jump. So it's just a reverse lunge jump. Boom, 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 okay? And then one more time, beast crawl. Three, two, one. Let's do it. We're doing reverse lunge M. So we start high and finish low. External rotation to internal rotation, flexion to extension. Bring those shoulder blades together as we lunge down into our hip. Hip goes into flexion and the shoulders go into retraction. Good. All right. <clears throat> Starting the beast crawl. We keep the torso nice and stable. Both limbs lift at the same time. Three forward, three back. Each time we go forward, it counts as one. Each time we go back, it counts as one. You're on the T, we just come in front with internal rotation and we go into a T. Externally rotate those shoulders, come on. Bring those shoulder blades together. Don't let the arms go too low, don't let them go too high. Try to get close to a T as you can. Yeah. 
V. All right. Front of V. Hands down low, go up to high. Low to high. Internal rotation, external rotation. Control the abdominals. Don't overextend your torso. Keep it neutral. Lean into it. Come on, lean into it. Whew. Whew. Get that weight on the front leg. Keep it on the front leg. Minimal weight on your back leg. Try to keep the elbow straight. When you go to extension, I should say. Flexion is okay, bend the elbows, extension overhead. Try to straighten those elbows. Last one, we do these jumps. Full extension, triple extension of the hip, the knee, the ankle. Let's do it. Get into it. Full extension. Keep that weight on the front leg. Triple extension. Ankle, knee, hip. Oh, Whew. Wow. nice work, everyone. That was awesome. <laughs>